In today's video, I'm going to tell you why Lords Mobile is bloody addicting. There's something rewarding about killing troops in this game. Okay, having the ability to it's like basically take an entire guild and have every single guy in that guild lose something. I don't know why, but there must be something about that that is just really darn awesome, right? You have to be able to walk up to somebody that's sitting and has no care in the world, doesn't know what you're doing, and you walk up and you slaughter literally a million of his troops. You know, it's like, does anybody ever think about how sadistic some of this stuff is? Like, you're basically getting off on the fact that you are literally killing millions of people. Now, I get it. It's a strategy game. But if you think about it, it's a bit, I don't know, a little bit wrong. Like, that's a little crazy. Just, just a little bit. You know, but, uh, of course, naturally, everybody gets uh, reapered, or what I'd call zeroed, once in a while. Uh, yeah, not exactly the... The, 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 when it gets reflected back on you, that's when the addiction, you got a reality check, you know, and then you suddenly go, eh, I don't know about that. Eh, maybe this is not the game for me because everybody likes to be on the win train. But once you're on the lose train, yeah, that's that's a tough pill to swallow. Like then then you have that sudden realization that maybe this is not such a good game after all. And the thing is, is this is the kind of game that kind of nurtures into your, uh, you know, your everyday neediness of wanting to do something that has meaning that has some built up benefit to you over time you know the thing is the game lets you farm so you can effectively play farm build that's what a lot of people in the pvp community will call it <laughs> you know and you got the pve aspect of it which is that you hunt monsters you gather gear which then makes you better and more effective and therefore you have this progression and you have this desire to have something better than what you already have and it's this constant desire that is what drives the game because ultimately every person that gets hooked into the game whether that be spending or otherwise it's pretty hard to let go of the game once you've pretty much gotten invested into it as far as some people have and in fact it's gotten so bad that some people i actually think have a pretty severe problem <laughs> Because it's almost embarrassing to admit what some of them have spent, or even how much uh, how much time they've spent playing a mobile game. <laughs> you know, it's like for some people, it's it, it's like coming to grips with the reality that yeah, this is in fact uh, that is your reality, right? You know, and for traps, it's it's like you know it, the the perk of it of basically being able to trap somebody that is better than you and has spent more money than you, or even trapping entire guilds. That's a satisfying feeling to be able to be on the top and be able to basically push against every barrier imaginable and have no fear whatsoever that you're going to lose everything. Right? It's a pretty great feeling, but then when you get hit and lost, eh, obviously that changes, right? But the thing is, is even the people you get to meet, you know, it's like you can talk to guilds, um, you can, you know, obviously you get to know your own guild mates and stuff like that, but then you even get the, you know, may eventually maybe make friends and you actually get to know people outside of the game itself. And that's, that's a pretty cool aspect of Lords, you know, it's not something that you would just normally expect with other games, but like literally I, I think there are a lot of people who have probably formed even relationships in this game because they're, you just get to know people in ways that you normally wouldn't. You just encounter and talk to people from all over the world, literally, on, on a regular basis that goes on for months or even years, you know? But, of course, the one thing that is kind of addicting about the game is obviously the update cycle of it, right? You've got events, you have seasonal events, um, it's bi-weekly, quarterly, you know, there, there's always something happening as far as monsters being swapped out to updates that, frankly, either for the right reasons or the wrong reasons make things better or worse for everybody involved and it becomes a game of you know keeping up with the jonases for the people that are trying to be rally leads and having to spend more to basically keep up with the people that are spending more and there's this constant cycle that is you know involving everyone and whether they want it to be in it or not even the traps have to keep up with the people that are spending because ultimately how else are they going to be able to trap if they don't have the stats to be able to do it? And the thing is, it's the stats. The stats are kind of the main selling point here. You know, if 
if there wasn't the fact that there's even a whole black market in this game, right? And I, some people talk about the black market and some people don't. I'll be the first one to tell you that, yeah, there, there's a whole freaking audience of people that will buy accounts off of other people, not knowing whether or not they're stolen or not, and have no fear or remorse if should they actually be. And then, you know, of course, do they ever talk about being burned? Of course not. No, no, that's just, you know, that's just, uh, that's all, you know, and no, they never talk about that or getting scammed or fished or any number of horrible things that could happen to you, you know. But, uh, you know, then, of course, you also get into the world of where people are even, you know, claiming that, oh, surely I can download a hack and get free things and give my email away and suddenly vanish all the magical problems that I have. But, uh, yeah, even that is a bunch of credit bullshit, you know, just throwing it out there in case you uh, ever thought it was a possibility that you could get free gems. Yeah, sometimes those could be legitimate if they're like redemption codes, right? That's one thing, but it's a completely different thing when someone's like, oh, hey, install this. And yeah, no, that's 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 a that's usually a that's usually the path to, to the darkness and falling for things that you are a little too naive for. Now, I'm just making it totally known out there that yeah again this stuff is against the term of service so if you end up getting involved in black market dealings of any kind okay you obviously run into the serious issue of being banned or worse um you 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 get scammed or some other horrible thing happens to you so that said the game itself is addicting you know and for everything that i've mentioned so far you know, I love the game's progress over the, the years that I've spent in it. I've enjoyed the game for so long that it's it's become a part of even this channel. It's just, I'd like to say that, yeah, I could leave the game, but I really can't. <laughs> it's just that I've spent so much time helping other people, teaching other people how to do things, and how, and even getting to know all you guys. It's been a blast, but ultimately that is pretty much why I think the game is as addicting as it is. But feel free to let me know what you guys think of the game's addiction. Do you think you've got a problem with addiction in this game? Because I know I do. But naturally, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like the video if you want to help the channel. And I'll see you guys.